She's the American Idol finalist who went on to sell six million albums. And today, Clay Aiken's telling the ladies why he headed to Broadway. He's the American Idol finalist who went on to sell six million albums and co-author a best-selling book. And now he's on Broadway, starring in the Tony Award-winning musical Monty Python Spamalot. Please welcome back Clay Aiken. <laughs> I have to say, we've got the uh, claymates in the audience here. Crazy. Oh my These pictures scare me. Oh. <laughs> With the red hair. The wig is so good, it actually looks like my real hair. And so yeah. I look at it and I forget it's a wig sometimes. And I, uh, do you like it? You, what do you like best? Because you've had a lot of hairstyles since we saw you um, on you Idol. Know, I never really have a choice in them. Never. I kind of had it dark for so long. Yeah. Um, and it made me look older, I think. So, I, God, I'm feeling old now. So we. I like the Turn highlights. The blonde, yeah. I think they're it cute. Gives me my youth. I don't know. Yeah. I need anything I can do you do. No, I mean, to feel young. Are yes. you tired? Sorry. No, this is your, well, this is your you? Broadway debut. Do you mind my ask? Which question? <laughs> <laughs> We're in stereo I'm going to skip yours. Because <laughs> I don't like it. It makes you feel younger. I'm 29, yeah. but you know what? Oh, I got hula hoops. Right. Home older than you. <laughs> <laughs> I am tired. I mean, yeah. I'm, I mean, it's a kind of an interesting tired. I'm, ex I'm exhausted, though. It's so much more work. Well, Broadway is no joke. It's a much more, and I've only done five. I've only done, I've only started Friday. We just wait. <laughs> <laughs> and it's tearing me up. I mean, the rehearsal schedule was nonstop, and right. mm -hmm. the, somebody drew the short straw and had to teach me how to dance, and that's been, <laughs> God help them. They had the patience of Job, because I can't do it. I can uh -huh. barely walk. Well, now, so, I heard you found new muscles, too. Well, now, I don't to just jump into a show like that's been up, up like that when dancing and Well, singing. you know, because everybody else knows yeah, their parts. And right. so I'm the only person who doesn't know what I'm doing. Oh, and yeah. there's this one part in the show where you have to do that Russian dance from uh -huh, Fiddler yeah. on the Roof. Do it. And yeah, do no, it. Oh, I can't do it by myself. You yeah. actually have around people's okay, shoulders, okay. but you actually okay. have to be on your knees. Oh, Are you we okay have to with do this? it too? Okay. Well, I can't. To come no, seriously. Come on, everybody uh, down your knees. No, 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 oh. get down on your knees. You asked for this, Joy. You asked for it. Can we just address the fact that Clay Aiken just got all of us on our knees? Hey. Okay? Hey. No, and you have to stick your leg out like this and then over like this. I got on a dress. So you can see. We won't actually do it. We won't actually do it. No. But you actually have to do you have to drag yourself. This is exhausting. This way she you never, you cheated. Never, no, because I'm no fool. I know what you had to go through. But you have to drag yourself across the floor, and I can't do it. They have to drag me. I mean, they and really... not only that, you had to learn a British accent, and you had to yodel. Can you yeah. do that? Show us how you do that. Like this, or you want me to? But I actually learned it from the lizard on um, the lizard on um, on the commercials. You know the. Uh, like, oh, the guy called lizard. I think that's Is Australian, it a that accent. No, I don't. You know, there's no, my accent changes. Well, you, you don't like it? No, I love it. Oh, no. Don't yodel. Yodel. I mean, I, there's not much, wow. there's not much to yodeling. Can, but, you, uh, can you explain something to me? Because I'm kind of new to all of this. What is a clay, what is a claymate? Claymate. claymate. What are claymates? <laughs> oh, well, they made up their, they created the name on their own. And at first right. it was a little bit. <laughs> but you know, you can't beat them, you join them. So they're very enthusiastic they and they yeah, apparently carry pictures of me around with and, them and everywhere they go. Don't they throw things at you? Like, yeah, well, they know. haven't thrown things on theater, but, and, and spam a lot, no. thank God. But it's a little strange for me. One of the tougher things for this, for this particular mm -hmm. thing is to not regard the audience because you know when you when I'm on in concert I have to sing you know you kind of right. play off the audience and you talk to people and you sing to people and now I have to completely ignore them the fourth wall they call yeah. it the, the fourth, fourth wall. Uh, oh. I know and I have a real tough time with it especially when they come in and they're like ah, Clay! I mean that. They're doing their panties, panties at you. I mean, that's hard to do. So actors handle that. You know, they, I was so embarrassed. I mean, I'm not, I hate to say this, I wasn't embarrassed, embarrassed, but a little bit of me was a little embarrassed on Friday night because they were so loud. <laughs> and I kind of said to somebody, I said, they're embarrassing me in front of my new friends. <laughs> because, <laughs> because they were screaming for me. But the rest of the cast just absolutely loved it because, you know, the show's been going on for yeah, three years right. and, and it was something New fresh and new yeah. for them. So they, I mean, so, uh, so it's made it fun. How are uh, you handling New York? Because you just, you're from a little small town and now you're in New York. Mm -hmm. well, how um, you know, like? I've visited New York, but um, I've never been, and I don't mean to say it in a negative, horribly negative way, but I'm kind of like trapped. You know, normally I can leave and yes. go somewhere else, but now I'm 
I'm here till May 4th without question. And you oh. don't get any days off. Well, then you, you know, need to really. plan a good vacation. So I am, I'm, I'm here. And yeah. it's a little bit different, you know, but I kind of like the idea of the fact that things are open all the time. You know, yeah. you get the grocery store Sitting and whatnot. Before, yeah. before we go, because I just want to sit here and talk to you for so much more. Let's do you do watch it. American Idol? Do you watch? You know, I haven't. I've kind of equated it to, and I have to be very careful how I say this, because it's important to me to make sure that it's clear that, I mean, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for American right. Idol. Are you afraid of the American Idol gods? No. Okay. Well, no, not really. I mean, I, I, because it's very, I mean, I, I would never, no one would have cast me in anything um, before this. So <laughs> I needed that show to be here. But, yes. you know, we all needed high school. We all needed college. Absolutely. We needed our education need to be here. And I kind of equated to high school. Yeah. You know, I would not be where I was. None of us would be where we were without our education. But I don't go back to my high school football games. You know yes. what I mean? Well, Clay, you know, we're, we're glad, glad you're here. visit your old high school? I do. Okay. I you just will. You'll get, you'll get to a point where no you want to go back. There. But we're just glad you're here. Claymates, <laughs> get ready. Because guess what? You can catch Clay Aiken and Monty Python spam a lot at the Schubert Theater through May 4th. And everyone in our audience is going home with a Grammy Award winning spam a lot CD. Clay, thank you so much. We'll be right back.